Good evening, everyone. My name's Heath Haskins, Code Primate, and welcome to my channel. I was just about to load up Lumber Tycoon 2. It, it's Thursday night, Friday, you guys are going to get a lumber video. And I was sitting here, getting ready to load up my base, getting ready to load up any base, and just thinking, there's been a lot of work put into all my bases, into this game. And I don't know, I just got super sad at the moment. Like, not meaning to get mad or sad, just thinking, you know? Like, this is this is all my channel. This is this is what I do. I do lumber. You know? And I don't know. I got a very nostalgic thought or a, just a feeling, an overwhelming feeling that this might be coming to an end. That lumber isn't getting updates. Defaultio's doing other projects, doing his own thing. And for the for most of you, the the game's broken. The game's been broken for a long time. It's just it's been a long time, and. I do, I do love the game. I like the game a lot. And every once in a while, this just, it happens to start weighing on me that I want to get back into development. I want to get back into programming, doing video games, and other things. And I feel like I can't. I feel like I'm stuck playing Lumber. Lumber is all I'm ever going to be able to play. And I know I shouldn't feel like that. I know that there there are other avenues and I've I've tried I've tried multiple different games and it's just not the same. This this game is why I play Roblox. This is this is me. This is who I am and <sighs> I don't know. I'm feeling very nostalgic today. I've been feeling very nostalgic all week, and I've really been wanting to get into other things, into VR, into um, Switch, Nintendo Switch. Um, I want to start playing with my family again. It's also one of the reasons I started backing off from the karaoke, and I started backing off from the live streams, and I started just slowly inching away from ultimately, ulti ultimately what the big decision is going to be. It's going to be ending lumber on my channel. Now, I'm not doing that right away. I don't, I, I, I fear doing that. I fear that if I quit lumber, my channel's dead. I've seen the numbers drop. I've seen the subscribers slow down. I've seen everything just kind of slowing down. And I understand. I, it's, it's weird for me. It really is. Because this is what made my channel. And I fear that going somewhere else, it's just not going to do the same. And I know that's not the entire case. It's, it's going to go in a different direction. Things are going to change. But then I start looking around at like other content creators and other things that people are doing and just... I don't know. Something has changed. Um, and Golden Ninja, please do not take offense to this. But... For example, Golden Ninja 50, Golden Ninja 90, I don't remember what his name is, um, used to do a lot of Roblox, a lot of, a lot of Minecraft, and just doing gameplays, lots of live streams and stuff, right? And I went and looked at his channel the other day. He's over a million subscribers now. But within the last year and a half, maybe two years, he switched his content to like 40-second memes it's it's shorts 
And I'm wondering if it's the attention span of our children and the, like the kids who are growing up now. We live in memes. I know, I know. You guys wanted to see some lumber gameplay, but this is like deep thought. We live in memes. Everything nowadays. And it started back with vines. And before that, it started with, um, what was it called? Dub Smash. Dub Smash was like the first vines. And then it turned into Vine. And then it turned into TikTok. No, it, it turned into Musical.ly. And then it turned into TikTok. And now it's YouTube Shorts and it's Facebook Shorts and it's all this stuff. And I think what's happening is people are realizing that the attention span is short. I mean, I don't want to sit here and make a 30 minute video. <laughs> Nobody wants to sit and watch a 30 minute video. Um, YouTube, YouTube doesn't want long videos. In fact, they've shortened their, like the, the revenue time you used to have to have a minimum of 15 minutes and then they shortened it down to 10 and now they shorten it down to eight for, for like the, the mid roll ads. <sighs> Happy Friday. Before we get started, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, blah, blah, blah. Do the, do I have the little bell? Hold on. Let's do the bell thing. Subscribe, like, turn on notifications because I don't know if it's ever like, I don't know if that even works anymore. Do you guys even do the call to actions? If you're watching this video right now and you've never subscribed, are you even interested in my content? I don't know. And I have no way of quantifying it. Like even looking at the analytics, my analytics say that most of you are 18, 24, 24 years old, but I know that's not true. I know that that, that genre, that, that section, that demograph isn't 18 to 24 year olds. <laughs> it's people who have phones and have kids, people who have tablets and have kids, people who have accounts and have kids. So, <clears throat> I don't know. It's a good thing. And I've always been honest and upfront with everything that I do. I try, I like, I try and express everything and I don't hold back. If there's something to be talked about, I talk about it. Um, legalization laws in the federal government getting passed by the house. I would talk about that. And I would address it and I would talk, like say things, the fight with Ukraine and Russia. I talk about that. So am I a kid's channel? I, I think so. I'm family friendly. I can talk to the entire family from little babies all the way up to 90 year old grandmothers. It, it doesn't matter if you're here on my channel, I can talk in a manner that is befitting for the entire family. And I want to continue that, but I don't know if lumber is in that future. Also, it kind of looks like a stealth bomber. <laughs> I didn't realize it, but the, uh, the glass on top of my house here is the, the bomber. By the way, this is a model of our house in, uh, in Springfield, Missouri. I know I've, I've never come out and said it before. Like, but yeah, uh, I took down my PO box just because like it'd go months and never receive any kind of letters or anything like that. And you guys can get a hold of me much faster on Twitter. There's, there's no need for a, a PO box anymore. It's just, <sighs> I have another book coming out and it's about Roblox programming. Oh, it's not a new one. It's the advanced Roblox coding book by Simon and Schuster. Um, I also have uh, the rewrite of David's book, which is the ultimate guide to Roblox. And I feel like, because I know so much about Roblox and, and the things behind Roblox, what makes Roblox work, how programming works, I feel like the channel needs to change. It needs to stop being about lumber. It needs to move towards actually making video games, 
actually programming, getting an understanding of how to create your own games. I need to go and finish the 20 million games that I've started. I don't know. It was... It's all in my head. <laughs> I know the channel's doing good. It's still still thriving. There's plenty of you watching, and I know that even, even if Lumber completely quits, there's still going to be at least one or two of you who still watch my videos just because it's me. You know, and I've been getting a lot of comments on the older videos like, um, oh, what was it? My auto it videos, how to do automations. Guess what? RPA development. That's my job now. And it's becoming a bigger and bigger thing. Maybe I need to start doing videos on tutorials on how to do automations. Maybe I need to start doing video tutorials on how to do Excel. Here's the thing it's become saturated. When I first started my, my Lumber Tycoon 2 tutorial videos, nobody else was doing tutorial videos. Nobody else was doing Roblox. Well, Roblox Lumber Tycoon 2. I was like the forefront to it. Whenever I would go and look up videos about Lumber Tycoon 2, like I was trying to look up uh, caves, how to get through the caves, I would get these kind of videos. It would be, oh gosh, it'd be like this. Notepad, hello, and welcome back to my channel, channel, today. Like that was the extent of the Roblox tutorials for Lumber Tycoon 2. And now that we're here, I mean, you got a bunch of people doing Roblox tutorials. You got a bunch of people who are going through my old videos and making tutorials about the the stuff I used to do, which is extremely flattering, but at the same time, a little saddening. Like, I can't think of any more content to do on, on Lumber. Can you guys think of anything new to do on Lumber Tycoon 2? I mean, I could do builds. I could build things, but I just don't feel it. I don't know. Maybe, maybe I'm wrong. Maybe I need to just do this. Come on here and talk to you guys. You know? Maybe it's about, maybe it's about kids. Maybe it's about you sitting there watching right now and you still don't know how to tie your shoes. If you don't know how to tie your shoes, that's th that's perfectly okay. There are some adults who don't tie their shoes. They buy slip-on shoes all the time. And just because you can't do something doesn't mean you shouldn't try. And because I can't finish a video game doesn't mean I shouldn't try to finish a video game. And I don't want it to be just Roblox. You know, I also want to start making Unity games and everything else. Oh, oh, I do have to say this. Um, I was going to PAX. My entire family was going to PAX. We bought our hotel tickets. We bought our plane tickets. We have cosplay costumes all getting prepped and ready to go. And I found out not yesterday, but the day before that they are requiring requiring fully vaccinated which means that your final dose of the vaccine has to be within 14 days prior to entering PAX and you must provide proof or you don't get into PAX now it is I got the letter today saying that there is no exceptions to it I went so far as to find the person who is in charge of PAX in charge of uh, signature Boston uh, communications, I think. And it was the senior events planner. And I spoke with her and I said, it's a municipal building. And the Boston mayor has already lifted the restriction. Blah, 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 blah. Anyhow, they're not accepting anybody who is not vaccinated. So it is with my deepest apologies that if any of you were the winners of my PAX tickets, my PAX giveaway, 
and you're not vaccinated, you're not getting in. If you've bought PAX tickets, you don't get in. I think, I think that might be what's triggering me. That's what's putting me off in this weird mood because I'm not getting my money back. Me and my family, we're going to go have a great time in Boston as a vacation, as a family, but we're not going to PAX. Well, I'm vaccinated. I also have my booster. And before any of that, I got coronavirus back in 2020. So, I mean, I'm, I'm triple, triple protected. I can still get it. Even though there's all these vaccines and all this stuff, I can still contract coronavirus. And there's a lot of stuff. There's a lot of media out there. It's just not true. There's just pun, dumb, dumb people who are ignorant and not listening to medical advice and to things that are happening. And just, just now with that being said, don't get mad. Okay. And I know there's going to be a parent out there. Who's like, Crow, you don't need to be talking to these kids about this. I do need to talk about it because you know what? Nobody else is talking about it. There are some people who couldn't get vaccinated. My wife being one of them, she had cancer. She had breast cancer. And you know what? She went through chemotherapy. She had a double mastectomy and she had to go through radiation. She doesn't trust it. I don't trust it. She's still compromised. We're not going to, I'm not going to force her. My kids, they had the choice and they don't want to take it because it's too new. But guess what? That's their choice. They've been under lockdown on mask mandates, going to school and everything else. And what's sad is when I let them know, they asked, oh, can we go get the vaccine? We really want to go. That doesn't feel right. That feels forced. And I don't want to force it on anyone. It's your choice if you want to get vaccinated or if you don't want to get vaccinated. It's these people who are the anti-vaxxers who are like, oh, that causes autism. Oh, did you know the vaccines? They, they give you ADHD. Please. How do you think vaccines work? It's you contract a virus, your body builds up an immune system to it, and then you become protected from it. It doesn't do it for all of the viruses that are out there. So, to all the anti-vaxxers, calm down. To all the vax pushers, calm down. It is 100% your choice. If you want to go get vaccinated, great. Go do it. If you don't want to get vaccinated, great. Don't do it. Don't shove your opinions down somebody else's throat. Uh, see, and that's what I'm talking about. Like, these are the kind of things I talk about on the channel. And it's it's... It feels like the channel's been guised, like disguised as a kids channel for kids only. It's not. I, I think I've said this so many times. I think I've even got like a big rage video on it. But, oh gosh. I'm sorry. I know that everybody's attention span is low. <laughs> and we're already up to 18 minutes of me just ranting. So, I'm going to go ahead and load in. We're not going to do anything tonight. I'm just going to fiddle around on my base. Select, select. Yeah, we're, we're going to confirm right there. Fiddle around on my base, and I'm just going to talk because I think that's one of the best videos. These, these are some of my favorite videos. When I come in here with an agenda, with an idea, and when I make you think about an idea or an agenda, you know, <clears throat> I might also be getting sick. Like, it, it could be allergies, but I don't know. It's been very snotty today. Mm. I think I want to start doing more family videos with the family. I want to start doing more VR videos. Uh, one game in particular I really want to start in on is called Township Tale. Now you guys are going to hate me for this, but there's axes and trees that I can cut down. <laughs> so, um, I will definitely be doing that. And... The other thing is, I love Township Tales so much, I want to create a Roblox game with VR 
that you guys could play that is basically Township Tale. I want I want, an, I want a Roblox version of it badly. But guess what? It's going to be a lot of work. And in order for me to start pulling off that kind of work, I need to stop doing videos every single day. Because I drop at least one video every day, Monday through Friday. And then sometimes I drop some on the weekends too. So you get a Saturday and Sunday. Um, if you're watching this on Saturday or Sunday, thank you. Because you're watching it on the weekends, you couldn't watch it on Friday. But... I do. I really want to start something else. And I'm proud of what we've built. I'm proud of you guys for being here. I know not all 139,000 of you are watching. Most of those accounts are probably not even interested in the same things they were when they, they subscribed. And I don't blame you. Everybody needs to grow up. Everybody needs to change. It happens. It's inevitable. And I wanted to tell you guys that I've accepted it. How about you? Are you ready for it to change? My Discord. A lot of people think it's a Lumber Tycoon 2 Discord. No. It is a channel for the fans of me. So if you're a fan of me, join the Discord. But don't expect it to be 100% Lumber. We've got Lumber things in there, but it, it's, it's more for people who want to learn how to code, who love tech, who nerd out at simple things. It's for old men who grew up with Teenage Ninja Turtles and Adult Swim and <sighs> Cartoon Network because that's what I grew up watching. Cow and Chicken, Cat Dog. Did you ever notice that the best ones were like two words long? Beavis and Butthead. <gasps> I remember listening to like LL Cool J, Metallica, No Doubt, Bush, stuff like that. Now, it's it's probably not going to stop. I'm, I I will still I would still like to make lumber videos whenever there is an update, and whenever there's something amazing to go and do. But as far as being 100% the content that I do. I just, I'm not feeling it anymore. And I don't think you guys are either. Tell me if I'm wrong. I mean, please, if you are trying to save the lumber content, scream it in the comments down below. Like, make your voice heard. If you know other people who watch my channel and they don't watch it anymore, tell them, hey, we need to save lumber. Because of right now, like tonight, I don't feel it. I really don't. Maybe I'll feel better after the vacation. But coming here, uh, not next week, but the week after, um, the week of the, what is it, the 19th, we will be in Boston. All right, so if there's anybody in the Boston area, let us know. Scream it down below. Don't scream out your address or anything like that, but hit me up on Twitter. You know, if you if you'd like to do some kind of meetup out in town, then I can be there. We can we can set something up. But for now, I think that's it. I'm I'm done ranting. I'm ready to go play something else. I don't I don't really have anything to do in Lumber today. I would play on on public servers, but I mean the first two that I jumped into, they were talking about hacking right off the bat. Like, yeah, I know how to hack, but I don't want to slow down my PC. People are getting so bold. To just publicly say, yeah, I hacked a game, I hacked this game, I hacked that game. <sighs> really? Do you think that's really... <sighs> do, you, do you need to hack Roblox? Is the games that hard? I don't know. Maybe I'm getting old. Maybe it's time for me to retire. And go hang up the old axe. There you go, buddy. The symbolism... Of the final time. So. Thank you all for watching. And listening to my little rant. Um, it's not the end. It's not the end of the channel. Okay. But I do know that. We're going to start driving away from it. From lumber itself. I'm, I'm going to do something else. In fact. I'll try and do like the first episode of Township Tale tonight. 
see if you guys like it. It's going to be in a different format, but I, th I think you'll like it. I hope you like it. If you don't like it, I don't care. <laughs> I'm, I'm going to go play it because I enjoy it. Love you guys very much. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe down below. Do all those cool things I'm supposed to call out at the end of the videos like a good YouTuber does, but it's your choice. If you want to, go for it. If not, that's cool too. And I've always said that. It's always your choice. There's all these YouTubers nowadays that are like, subscribe now or get spiders in your bed. Subscribe within the next three seconds and Roblox won't be deleted. I don't understand that. If you want to subscribe, go for it. Love you guys. Have a great night. We'll talk to you soon. Outro.